All right, so your timeshare is not a house, period. If you can understand that, then the bottom line is you're going to know and understand what you need to do to get out of your timeshare. This is Jason from freefromvacationfees.com and let's just get started with this quick video. The bottom line is, and I've talked to a lot of owners and they own with various companies and I pretty much guarantee that I've talked to owners who have uh, owned your, uh, with your particular company. Uh, there's basically five big ownerships. I'm not gonna list companies here, um, but we all know who they are. And then there, there's smaller uh, times your ownership as well. Um, but your situation is not unique. If you're watching this video, odds are that you owe money on that timeshare. Um, specifically, if you owe money on your timeshare, that means you have a mortgage. And that is a convenient term. By the way, I'm shooting this on uh, my iPad, so bear with me if, it, if it's a bit slow. I'm gonna try to write everything out and make this very simple. You have a mortgage on your timeshare. And I'm just gonna use a very simple example. Um, so typically, typically, a mortgage would be pay monthly. Um, so that would be monthly payments on that mortgage. Uh, and those payments are, uh, they're all over the board. It depends a lot on your rate and the deal you work out with the timeshare company at the time of purchase, uh, which by the way, is always a scam, but we will get to that in a minute. Um, so your monthly payments, I've seen them anywhere from uh, you know, a couple hundred dollars typically. I've seen them all the way up to, believe it or not, $2,000, which is insane. And this is where people get this idea that basically a timeshare is like owning a home. And that's a very clever thing that timeshare companies do. That's why they call this a timeshare quote mortgage. Because what do people equate a mortgage to? Well, let me fix the spell correct there. It is a mortgage. Okay? What do people equate a mortgage to? They equate it to home ownership because 99% of the people who own a home, it's actually 99 point, probably 99.5, basically do not pay a lump sum cash for that home. They take out a mortgage. Now, this is the key to understanding how to get out of a timeshare if you owe money, okay? So, a timeshare is not a home. It is not a home. The reason is, it is not physical property, okay? A timeshare is basically owning open air. Um, you could refer to it as a, in my opinion, it's not a tangible asset. It's non-tangible. It is basically uh, nothing. What you own, what you own, so to speak, is basically an agreement. An agreement to use. You own an agreement to use uh, or, quote, share. ownership in physical property. You don't actually own the physical property. Well, like I said, this is being slow, but we'll get to that in a second. Physical property. You don't actually own physical property. You own a, an agreement to, to share that ownership. 
actually what happens is the, the timeshare company owns that property and they're just basically disguising it by giving you something called a mortgage that basically allows you to use that property at a given time in a year, which quite frankly, it's harder and harder to find uh, desirable time slots uh, because they're pretty much taken up in most timeshare companies. So the bottom line is when you get this, you understand why nobody wants to buy it from you. Okay, people do not want to buy open air. Um, people are not going to take over your mortgage. It would be like this. If I came to you and I owned a home and I say, and I come to you and I basically said, here, would you like to take over my mortgage of my home, the mortgage payment to use my home a week out of the year? That sounds absolutely ridiculous. And that is the absolute truth on what timeshare companies are selling you. Uh, and here you probably thought you owned something that was tangible. You do not own something tangible. And so you're not going to be able to sell that. Um, and that is why far, far less than 1% resell. And the ones that do resell typically are basically given away, okay, for almost free. For close to free, okay? And you can see this. If you go to websites like eBay or whatever, you can see that people can't even give these things away and predominantly they're they're listed for free. Hey, you know, take my timeshare, uh, take over the maintenance fees. Here, I want to give it to you, but very few people bite on that because it's ridiculous. And this becomes impossible, basically, if you have what we call the timeshare mortgage. Okay, so that's the situation you're in. Whatever you owe, if you owe 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 or 50,000 or 100,000 or whatever, you have a monthly or a bi-monthly mortgage payment, okay? And the only way that is going to get eliminated is if you basically are able to get out of that contract. Again, you have a deed of ownership with your timeshare. So basically you need to get out of that deed, okay? Now, the way you do this is a little bit different. If you owe money, um, or let's say you're watching this and you do not owe money, okay? The this, this story, um, what you want to accomplish is basically the same. You want to accomplish getting out of the deed because that's what's going to end your your contract is, is what's going to get you out of your yearly maintenance bill, okay? And those are typically due in January, but many are due in March. Um, but it's also going to get out you out of your mortgage payment, which is typically monthly if you owe money on that. Now, if you have that paid off, you still have a maintenance fee um, due. Uh, but in any event, um, you're trying to get out of the deed to get out of these payments, okay? And if you owe money you're not just gonna be able to go and sell it. The typical process, if you don't owe money, a very simple process would be a simple transfer. Okay, and we do that here at Free From Vacation Fees. Dot com. Well, again, this iPad, autocorrect, but it's Free From Vacation Fees dot com. Okay, but also, um, it, it, if you owe money, the way you get out is slightly different. Typically, typically the way you owe money, and a lot of people that owe money are going to call attorneys, okay? Because attorneys can, so to speak, go to bat for these people, um, getting them out of their contract. Uh, because if you owe money, then a transfer is not going to work. You can't just transfer your ownership. You're going to have to pay that mortgage off or you're going to have to have an attorney um, who's able to make a case on your behalf to get you out 
of the mortgage that is due because no timeshare company is going to let you out of that. Um, the other alternative for this, since attorneys typically charge hundreds of dollars an hour, um, a typical fee for getting out if you owe money is very common to cost you somewhere around $5,000, okay? And let's face it, if you go with a good attorney, that's a great solution. If you're getting out and you owe $20,000 or $30,000 or $50,000, that can save you a lot of money. Now, if you don't have that money, uh, another way you can go, go about it is through, um, there's various consumer advocacy groups out there who will go to bat for you too. Now, again, it's like any other industry. There are the good companies and there are bad. There is good and bad. Your goal is to obviously find the good, um, the honest companies. Okay? But at least if you know, if you owe money, that is what you're going to have to do. That really narrows your options down and that can make your life easier. Now, also, here at Free From Vacation Fees, if you owe money, chances are we can help you if you owe money. And what we do is we work with various advocacy companies, okay? Who basically will go to bat to get you out of your mortgage. Now, a quick scenario is, let's say you own a mortgage, okay, a timeshare that has you paying, um, let's just do an extreme example. Um, let's do a not so extreme example. It'll bring it more. The average, let's say you, you owe about $25,000 on that mortgage, okay? Your monthly payments would be somewhere roughly, let's just do, let's just do a reasonable amount. Uh, let's call it, um, you know, $300 per month, okay? So over the course of the next year, um, you are essentially going to be paying 12 months, 10 months would be $3,000, 12 months would be $3,600. Okay, in payment. Now keep in mind, a lot of that will be interest. Okay, so it's not actually going towards that total balance. But your bill, your yearly bill is going to be 3600 So if you were to come to us, all right, and again, the pricing depends upon who you owe with um, and certain other factors is going to determine the price. But if you come to us and you can get out for somewhere around that fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollar mark. All right. Well, that makes sense. Let's say you can get out within a year's time and you spend twenty five hundred dollars, or let's say you spend two thousand dollars to get out, or even fifteen hundred dollars to get out. Um, so. Typically, you're looking at, and this is with with many companies. Typically, you're looking at between fifteen hundred and twenty five hundred. Let's say, let's say we just take an even round number, and you spend two thousand dollars to get out. Well, over the next year, it takes a year. You get out. You spend two thousand dollars. Well, <clears throat> that's going to save you a lot of money. Obviously, number one, it's going to save you. $3,600 in a yearly mortgage payment, okay? And then number two, it's going to save you much of the remaining $25,000 that you owe, all right? So it makes sense. Um, this is simple math, all right? It's just a math problem. It's simple math. The longer you stay in a timeshare that has you paying $300 or $500 or $1,000 a year, the more money you are just throwing away. If you take that money and you use it to find a good company 
that can get you out, that can do advocacy, that, that can get you out of that timeshare, basically, it winds up saving you a lot of money. Now, as I mentioned, attorneys, this is typically the way they work. An attorney will work this way. They'll go to bat for you to dispute your contract. But again, the issue is they typically charge, okay, $5,000 or more. All right. Now, that can certainly be worth it depending on what you owe. Definitely. And I encourage you to consult um, with qualified legal counsel. Um, here at Free From Vacation Freeze, We are not attorneys. Again, the way we work is we work with various advocacy companies, okay? And basically that allows us to keep costs down while accomplishing what you want, which is namely to get out, okay? So hopefully you found this at least somewhat useful, um, but this is the way you go about getting out of a situation in a timeshare where you still owe money, where you have a mortgage, um, and basically it's become a giant burden. Now, you can visit free from vacationfees.com. Again, my name is Jason. You'll see other videos on that website and you'll also be able to fill out your information to contact us. Um, we are not pushy salespeople. We can just go through your options with you. Uh, this is not a free solution. I wanna stress, it is not a free solution. We get a lot of people asking, well, can you do this for free? No. It's not a free solution. Um, number two, we do not sell your timeshare. As I said, if you own a timeshare where you owe money and have a mortgage, it is next to impossible to sell. So you should not be trying to sell it because it's not going to work. All it's gonna do is take a lot of time and continue to cost you monthly mortgage payments where you could be spending that time getting out. Now, if you found this useful, please click the like button below. Again, you can visit our website, www.freefromvacationfees.com. Subscribe to the channel because I will be posting a lot of additional videos over the upcoming year. And I'm sure you'll find many of them quite useful uh, for your ownership.